what is up guys we are going to be doing some content on the new update for divided impera which includes the mithridotic wars campaign okay i'm super excited to do this i've always been super fascinated by mithridates and just pontus in general since you know after the death of alexander you know they kind of mixed hellenic and persian you know achaemenid culture together and formed their own kingdom and i find that just very very interesting um, especially since it was founded by Persian nobles. Um, I think it's really, really cool. So, what we're going to do is, is we're going to play as Mithridates, and we're going to play on hard. Okay, so our faction traits are independence plus 10% melee defense during battles in own or allied territory. Echoes of War, minus 25, to diplomacy with Roman factions. Okay, we're going to have to go to war with them eventually anyways. Spider's Web, increased spy success chance and cap. Court intrigue decreased party loyalty, multiculturalism decreased foreign culture public order penalties. Okay, let's go ahead and get this started. You are Mithridates, having gone against the great enemy of Rome already and been successful, a recent setback should only serve to increase your hatred of those oppressors from Italy. Bide your time and let them consume each other in political strife. The time will soon be right to rid the world of Rome once and for all. Ooh, or should we go on a complete and utter tour to destroy Rome? Hmm. So what do we got here? There's Mithridates. He's got some Sarmatian royal bodyguard. We got some Pontic Thorax Lancers, some Thorax Bronze Shield Pikemen, some late Pontic Bodyguard. Okay, and then we got some Pontic Heavy Archers. Okay, how are we doing economically? We're only making 3,700 a turn. We have 21,000 in the bank. So Cilicia the seems like the they're pretty. Let's try to get some trade agreements. Yeah, we can get 1,500 out of them. So it looks like the Seleucids are still alive, but they're only a shadow of their former power. They're pretty much destroyed at this point. Um, Parthia is the rising power. Okay. Greetings. So Sidia, you'll accept it. So you may speak as okay. you wish, and we will give you an honest answer. Okay, 900. Gold is usually offered in payment of service. No. I want a trade agreement. That Athena has not given you wisdom to see the merits of our no. 600 will do. Your words bring Probably should get some. Okay, no, Armenia is right here. So what we own the Bosphorus. And Galatia, and we're bordered by Armenia. Armenia is our military ally. So that's good. We don't. We're not worth anybody right now. Cartley I will do you the honor be a good trade of listening trade to your partner cats, then. Hoping to hear wisdom and profit in them. Dang, three thousand bird, let's go. We can ask no I don't know who you are. Oh, okay, these are the Marians. Speak your speak. They're at war with Sulla. So we're they're just owning a little part of Asia Minor. And Bithnia is a client state of them as well. So Bithynia would probably have to be like one of our first things that we, we should try you, to take lord. out. Your next command, my lord. All right, we need to work on our economy. So let's go ahead. Let's just look at the map, see what our options are. So we own this. So let's go ahead and get a grain market here. Let's get a farm. Probably an outskirts would be smart. Let's also upgrade the city. And then upgrade that as well. Trapezos. Let's build an abundant forest. Phasis is on its own. Hmm. So up here we're having some public order issues, huh? We're we'll gonna have to solve that somehow. So let's go ahead and get an amphitheater. Let's 
go ahead and get a farm. We're doing good on food. So probably should upgrade that and that. We're going to call that good for now. A lot of buildings are being built. So we can already go to Hoplite Barracks. So pretty much. No, let's go over here. Siege Towers might be nice. Our economy is pretty well researched. Our technology in general is pretty well researched. Let's go ahead and get architectural advances so we can get some bigger cities and some bigger towns. Uh, it looks like all we all got is the court nobles. Um, should be too hard to make them happy. I mean, we are a dynasty after all. We are a kingdom, so they're not too, not too worried about them, to be honest. Probably should get a garrison commander up here, though. So Mithridates, Pharnaces. Let's get Pharnaces up here. We'll and just give him. What should we give him? Let's just give him some Scythian skirmishers. Nothing too special. What should we give him here? We can get him bread and food, which would help with the public order. Our public order is actually already doing better, so we're gonna go ahead and do tax harvesting. Public order is good here. Public order is a little iffy here. Side. Who are you? Okay, I guess they're right here. Pisidia, okay. They're not powerful at all. These guys aren't that powerful. These guys, Sola is super powerful. So let's just bide our time. Let's wait, let's build economically. In the meantime, I think we should come and take out these caucus factions, but they don't have no armies. So it's gonna be a little too easy. So let's just go ahead and turn. Enjoy this quiet time. It ends now. The storm is oh, coming. Oh, what? Storm... Okay, well, it looks like Armenia didn't want to side with us on this war. That's unfortunate. So, now we have to recruit some troops. Hmm. We've got Pontic Cav, Pontic Medium Cav, Pontic Skirmisher Cav, Pontic Phosphorian Cavalry, which are horse archers, I believe. Yes, they are. Okay, well, we gotta get some phalanx. So let's go ahead and get three of them. Okay. We're gonna have to wait for this economic boom that's about to happen. You up here. Get in a patrol stance. So start recruiting troops. We're gonna have to go to war with Bithynia. Do we have any spies? We do not. Or a navy. That's not good. But if we take Nicomedia, we can guard the Hellespont away from the Romans. So that's beneficial, to say the least. And we can, you know, end up completing this province of uh, Bithynia and Pontus. Armenia, I don't know why you did that to me. Welcome. Don't appreciate it. Welcome. Might have to take you out too. Doesn't look like you have any armies, and we were playing on hard, and they have no armies, so we could have just blitzkrieg this entire province, but it's fine. Maybe later. All right, let's go ahead and actually move closer over here and get those phalanx back. Let's go ahead and turn. I think I'm probably going to do this upload tomorrow, and then I'm also going to be doing um, the Dawnless Days battle, so go ahead and give that some support, and go ahead and please like and subscribe, it really helps us get 
discovered on YouTube, which is proving to be pretty difficult. I'm not even going to lie. Alright, what else should we get? We need some archers. These are really expensive, though. Thorax Peltast. Just get some Persian archers. Just get three of them. Can we recruit one more? Okay, Pontic Cav would be nice. We do need another Cav unit. Or do we want Pontic Medium Cav? No Skirmisher Cav. These, oh, they've been drilled by Roman instructors, but they're not as good, obviously. Uh, I like these Pontic Thorax swordsmen, though. To hold the flanks. And we'll just go with that Pontic Cav. How much longer until all these buildings are built? Uh, quite a bit. Quite a long time. Four more turns at the max. Okay, let's go and turn. Mithridates was one of like the greatest enemies, you know, goes down one of the greatest enemies of Rome, you know, along with Hannibal and Arminius and Vithriathus and Lusitania. You know, he definitely, you know, for the Hellenic world was like the last stand against Roman expansion. And even the Seleucids, you know, were also that too. But as you can see, they're. It's pretty much the dawn of this lucid empire you know they're pretty much completely and utterly pushed back you know all of their satrapies in the east have revolted they're just stuck along the syrian coastline you know maybe a little bit into the syrian desert in palmyra but other than that they're pretty much it and you know mithridates was one of the only you know people standing up against roman expansion all right so we got Four pikemen. Got two cav units. We do need some. We have okay, and then we have one late Pontic bodyguard. So let's get a Pontic thorax swordsman, and we'll get another cav unit. And we'll also get another. Okay, we have enough archers. Very well. So we'll just stick with that for now. Let's go ahead. Check politics really quickly. They're negative nine. Not happy. We'll go ahead and send them to Armenia. We'll go ahead and turn. So we got the famous Gaius Marius and his Marian reforms against Sulla, the dictator. We both know how that plays out. Very interesting time period that they chose this campaign. I'm really digging it. I really think this is a really, really good idea on their part. A small sparkling candle is now extinguished. Okay, a child has died. Okay, the story of our lives. Seems like in every campaign we have that issue. Hmm. Okay, so we have enough cav. I'm comfortable with our cav amount, even though one of them's our general. Still comfortable with that. All right, and then let's go ahead and get our thorax swordsman, probably. Galatian warriors and they look pretty nasty to be honest got some good stats I'm just getting out of thorax swordsman for now all right two more turns and all of that goodness will be built they're you know kind of settling down here we got Mithridates the seventh here Cleopatra married into the Shah of Armenia okay so she's the queen of Armenia Pharnaces, you're only 14 years old. Jeez. Okay. The Dottis. It's 52. Okay. Let's go on and turn. We're probably just going to end the next turn super, super fast. I'm going to just save up a little bit more money. In order to build this army to almost completion. At least hire some mercenaries if we need to. Okay. So 
we got 2,900. What can we get? We can get one of these guys. And then after this, we're going to start moving in against them. And then probably should get one more pikeman. All right, let's see how that goes. We'll probably try to take out their garrison and their whatever army they have in Ganeko Media in one battle. So it should be pretty huge. Our pikes should be able to do the job, you would think. Our struggle will uh, be yeah, the definitely will not. I want your city now. You want to declare war on us? Well, this is what you're gonna get, Bithnia. Okay, so what do they got here? They got 12 units in their army. We have 17, plus they have 15 in garrison. We're just gonna go pull right up, right up close, and if they want to attack us, they can go ahead and do so. Feeling pretty confident that we're gonna be able to come out on top. Let's go ahead and just check everything. Everything's built and we're still not making too much more money. That's not good. It's not good. All right, let's expand this. We're gonna have to save it for this Vintner. Next turn. They're still okay. They're behaving themselves. We got a quiet wife. That's good. Plus two loyalty from marriage. We got master of horse. And yeah, this isn't very good. Minus 4% chance of invading enemy agents. If Roman wants to assassinate Mithridates, they got a pretty good chance of doing so. Alright, followers of Codus. Don't, can't really see what's in their army, but I'm feeling, like I said, pretty confident in our ability to beat these guys in an open battle. So let's go ahead and turn. Let's see what happens. Hopefully we can get a nice battle in here. Come on, Bithnia. Looks like we're gonna have to winter here if they don't want to attack. Nope, they're attacking. Very good. All right, so it looks like we have to. Okay, their infantry is of no consequence. Either is this. It's mostly skirmishers. So our cav is gonna have to be very important here. All right, so let's go ahead and fight this. interesting battlefield here Ready for all right let's go ahead and get our phalanx of course right here in the center actually we should probably take this high ground so let's go ahead and do that all we'll of our cav on our right flank if their daddy's in the back along with our archers have them hold their fire they have to pick their shots carefully okay get these guys over here pretty standard lineup Let's go ahead and create a control group here. Let's advance to the base of this hill. Quickly now! Heavy horse at your command. We're going to take a look at our units here when we are in formation. Okay, never mind. They're trying to come this way. Okay, we gotta take this hill advantage. There we go. That's perfect. Cav over here. And here comes our reinforcements. Perfect. We're in a good position here. Let's go ahead and take a look at these units here. Here we got some Thorax Swordsmen. Looking pretty cool. I always liked Pontus. And over here we got our Pontic Pikemen here. Pontic Thorax Pikemen. Are these the bodyguards? Yeah, there's the bodyguards. Looking pretty sweet. More thorax. Alright, they're coming after our cab. Let's pull our cab back. Archers, get over here on the flanks. We're gonna have to handle these calves. Did 
Repel tests. She's gonna get her phalanx and phalanx mode. Okay, they just charged right in. That wasn't very smart on their end. Hold your fire. We're taking them out pretty easily. We're gonna charge in some haunted cab, trying to destroy this Pathologonian skirmisher cab here. We're definitely gonna win this infantry fight. I don't think that's even a contest, really. Ooh, we got some Pontic heavy archers. These guys look very good. Alright. Counter charge down the hill. Looks like they're pretty much broken. We're gonna get our cap unit back. Right of these Galatian spears. We already know how this is gonna go. It's a lot of archers down here though. Archers come back out this way. Target them. Okay, we can start throwing firing, excuse me on these Thracian tribal folk, these Jav warriors here. We are at your command. Mithridates, let's go ahead and what? take a look at him. Oh, they did an awesome job with that model. Can't really s yeah. Yeah, he looks pretty cool. All right, they're done for. Let's get our cab out and around. It's time to start doing the business. Guys, to advance a little bit. It's time to start taking out these missile troops. These guys look pretty cool. Oh yeah, very cool. All right, they're gonna do some terrible damage on them. Right, let's charge in these thorax swordsmen. Charging against them. Yeah, all these missile troops back here are gonna get absolutely routed. Let's bring in Mithridates as well. Our main battle line is holding very well. Yeah, these light melee troops aren't gonna stand a chance. Let's make sure our archers don't get too stuck in here. Go and pull back. Dotties get in here, charge right through the center. All right, they got some Bronfilian, got some uh, good old Falksman right there. We need to get away from them. Let's charge right through this hole, charge right into the bulk of their archers. Let's take them out. Oh, they still had some left. Not good. Take these Thrax Swordsmen, bog them down. There goes the vast majority of them over here. Let's go ahead and push through and they're charging us with some spearmen. I don't like that. Alright, they're broken. Very good. Go ahead and reform. Get them out of here. Get these guys back to come face these Thracian militia. Charge them with our Pontic Lancers. Let's go ahead and push our pikes. Start pushing through them here. It's time to start rolling forward. Charge in the Thorax Swordsman. Not taking too many casualties either. That's good. Go and take them out. Go 
and bring them back. Yeah, Ponta's units just look awesome. Look really, really good. Okay, let's go and get around here. Charge them down. Bring them in and assault the main line. Take out these other light Pontic archers as well. Yeah, they're done for. They better run. Alright, we're actually bring these lancers in. Yeah, they're breaking. Outmaneuver them here. Charge right into the main line. deal right there get them out of there pull them out get out of there Form the lines. Reform the lines. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Alright, we're gonna have to be careful of these Thracian Falcons in here. These guys are really good units. Probably should assault them with pikes, to be honest. Keep those Falcons at a diff distance, because those guys, oh. Their armor piercing damage on them, they will rip apart units. Yep, they're charging against our pikemen, very good. Let's bring in another one, just in case. Let's go ahead and make sure that the garrison's pr pretty much destroyed. So that way, when we want to go take the city, it's going to be pretty easy. General should start taking some casualties now. Yep, he is. Let's go ahead and charge these guys in and get them some good XP. These Thracian militia are coming back. We'll send in our Thorax swordsman to handle that. We await your orders. We await your orders. We'll surround them and we'll charge in. Winded, tired, fresh. We begin the flanking charge. For the greatness of Pontus. And it's done. Let's go and fast forward, start running them all down.
All right, pretty resounding victory, I'd say. Nice. It's a good battle. I go ahead and enslave them. Alright, let's take Bithnia. Let's come around. Knock them out. We'll ransom them. We don't want too many slaves. Let's go ahead and take the Comedia. Go and occupy. Nice. Now we own one side of the hell spawn. That's good. They got transports. They got some arm. They got an army right there. All right. Well, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I will see you guys in part two. Perry the Trojan.